hello students welcome to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that a stake is being pulled out of the ground by means of two ropes is shown knowing that angle alpha equals to 30 degree determined by trigonometry the magnitude of the force p so that the resultant force exerted on the stake is vertical now the resultant force on the stake is vertical like this and we have to find the magnitude of this force p so that the resultant is vertical and it is said that we have to find the corresponding magnitude of the resultant so we have to find the resultant magnitude and we have to find the the force p magnitude using the trigonometry so now let's draw the free body diagram let's say that um, this point is let's say point a so at point a we have force p force p whose magnitude is not known and we have 120 pounds this is 120 newton and we need to add them by head to tail rule since um, the resultant of both of these is vertical and we always get the resultant by using the head to tail rule so we have to add up both of these and we have to uh, assume that the resultant is vertical since it is given in the problem statement so this is my resultant the resultant is vertical like this now we are given this angle alpha p force is making alpha angle that is 30 degree with the vertical so we can say that this is my 30 degree this is 30 degrees this 120 newton force is making 25 degrees with the vertical so this angle is 25 degrees so now if this angle is 25 degrees and if this and this if both of these lines are vertical then this angle and this angle they are equal since both of these angles are alternate angles so we can say that if this is 25 degrees then this is 25 degrees so this is my 25 degrees and the black arrow represents the resultant now we need to find the p force magnitude so we can apply the law of science so we can say that p divided by the sine of the opposite angle to that force p so sine of this 25 degrees so p divided by sine of 25 equals to this 120 and divided by the sine of the opposite angle so 120 divided by sine of 30 degrees so by cross multiplication or uh, we can say that multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 25 so we can say that p is equal to 120 sine of 25 divided by sine of 30 degrees so 120 sine of uh, 25 divided by sine of 30 this gives me p magnitude equals to 101.4 degrees ah oh, sorry this is uh, 101.4 uh, newton since this is force now we need to find the resultant magnitude uh, first of all we have to find this angle so this angle is let me draw a vertical line here so again if this angle is 30 degrees then this angle is 30 this is 30 so this whole angle is 180 degrees so this angle will be 180 minus 25 minus 30 so this angle is 180 minus 25 minus 30 180 minus 25 minus 30 this is 125 so this is 125 degrees now we can find the resultant magnitude by using the law of sine so we can say that r divided by the sine of the opposite angle which is that 125 degrees equal to 120 divided by the sine of the opposite side so this is 120 
uh, newton and this is 30 degrees so divided by sine of 30 so the resultant magnitude is 120 sine of 125 divided by sine of 30 degrees so 120 sine of 125 divided by sine of 30 this gives me 196.59 so the resultant magnitude is approximately 196.6 newton So we were asked to find the resultant magnitude which is 196.6 uh, newton and we were asked to find force p in order to have the resultant as vertical so this p force magnitude is 101.4 newton so now if we have this p force of magnitude 101.4 newton acting at an angle of 30 degrees the resultant will be vertical and that resultant magnitude will be 196.6 newton so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problems from vector mechanics by bear and johnston